everybody what's up it's autumn welcome back to my channel all right so we're going to do an apartment tour vlog of my little home i just moved to dc like i told y'all a couple weeks ago so i'm still getting settled in and this apartment disclaimer is a ball on a budget okay y'all and i'm gonna I do like a life update video a year from now my apartment is completely filled and i have everything that i really wanted so this is like my beginner apartment vibe like straight out of college to my own place how bought on the budget because this is a budget apartment okay so this is like my little home area because you walk in and you see this is my door i have a little sign that says welcome to my home i got this from target for two dollars just so you can put keys in there um sometime i'll just like throw a little knickknacks on there really quickly um these are my appliances now this came with you know my apartment is stainless steel so my refrigerator you know i got a little something something going on not as healthy as it should be you see i got a little bit of wine in there but that's okay um and i got more greens y'all i'm gonna store tomorrow okay and then you know here it's like your typical freezer foods um chicken meats and it's veggies so i can make smoothies in there so you know typical typical ball on the budget y'all i go to target because it's so close to where i live and i have a red card debit card so you get five percent and don't forget y'all need to look at like apps at your local grocery store and get like little saving cards so you can save a couple dollars where you can okay y'all say that this is all about being adult one-on-one -on -one and budgeting all right so then here i have so much cabinet space literally y'all and here is like all of my plastic stuff. You see, I got olive oil, Cheerios, just all of my plastic wear overflow in there. Just so it's like a little space. I'm trying to use up all my cabinet space, to be honest. So then you come to my little kitchen area, and I have more snacks. And I have so much little counter like space up here. You see, I have one I didn't even fill yet. So I don't know what I'm gonna put up there because I can't low key reach it, but like, yeah my cabinet you know this is my spoons all my silverware and then like all my cooking utensils because it was so much space in here i got this from walmart for three dollars so it can put all of my silverware in there all these appliances is from target walmart and a little bit of amazon and i got i literally bought all this stuff for under a hundred dollars so that's a, that's a steal and then if you go under here this is like all my pots and pans y'all all of the pots and pans that I use to cook. Um, I just ordered a couple more pots from Amazon, but they're not here. Yes, y'all, I use Amazon to dev. And I got me an Instant Pot, y'all, for $67 from Target. And the Instant Pot was originally $150. That's what I'm saying. Stay on these sales, y'all. Stay on these deals because, like, that's where it be at, all right? So then I have more stainless steel appliances. As you see, I have, like, my... So this is, like, you know, my countertops. Um, you go over here. I have way more stuff. These are all my spices. All right. Um, I got this kit, this nice set from Target and it was $40. And I know you guys are probably wondering what this little device is back here. It is, um, a little gadget to say, to say if there's any carbon monoxide in my apartment or in the building. So my stepdad got that and it's a good utensil because if this ever says one, I gotta go, y'all. I gotta bounce if that ever says one. So I try to get a lot of little gadgets to let me know because like, you know, I've never really lived in an apartment. So I'm trying to stay as where as what's going on in my place as possible. And like here, this is like a random non shenanigans because you always gotta have one random drawer that has like miscellaneous stuff in it for your kitchen. And then here is just like all of my um, freezer bags. Uh, I have a cake mixer in there. All just like easy stuff. And then we keep going sink area instead of using instead of using like a traditional dish tray. This is like more modernized and this is washable. So I wash this like once a week. And I can put all my dry my dishes on it. And this is where you would put like all the utensils that you wash on. And this is my dishwasher that I have not figured out how to use yet, but it's on the way. I'll use it when I have a big party company over. And then this is just where all of my like silverware cups are. Um, up top I have my good china, okay, my good china from Ikea. Alright, so if I ever have a good big party, I'm coming to use my good china. And then here is just like all my plasticware, my little lunch box for my new job my little lunch box um i got this from etsy and yeah just a bunch of more cooking supplies y'all so this is like my little kitchen area and then if you come i have like these miscellaneous doors so if you come in here it's like my, my jackets and my blankets because i'm obsessed with blankets um and i have like hats and like miscellaneous stuff under here as well the key is to have all your miscellaneous stuff in one spot so you can always 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 get to it and then and here, 
this is my wash and dryer. Yes, my place has a wash and dryer here. I know a lot of places in the D.C. Maryland area usually don't come with a wash and dryer, but mine does. And if you can see, I have hooked my little Swiffer in my broom. And these are hanging on is what you've seen earlier at the front. And they cost $2, y'all. And you can just hang up all. So this is like my, my nice living area, you guys. Um, I got this couch. It's actually hanging down, which is beautiful because if you know, you know couches are super, super expensive. So I'm glad I got this hand down. This rug I actually got from Amazon for $15. Um, I got this little table from Walmart for $30. And I have these, like you see these little posters I got from the dollar store. So I'm saying ball on a budget, y'all. Like ball on a budget for real. Like don't spend all your money in one place because you have to make your money last. And over time you can add things. Like I'm gonna add posters to my wall in the next couple months, but you know, you gotta start you gotta start small to get big, okay y'all? So don't spend all your money going broke trying to fill your part your apartment when you can get things on deals and over time. So come on. We're gonna look and walk over this way. And this, you know, is my little this is my TV area. Yes, this is a 50 inch TV, but I did get it on sale at Best Buy. Um, and, I, and I got this at Ikea, and you see I have my friends, my grandma, I have my little bookshelf right there. Um, yes, and I do have my printer right here. And this is how you like improvise, like I said. So this is my lighting area right now. This is gonna, I'm getting shelves put in my walls. Hopefully in the next like three, four months. So I can put up all my lighting and put it here so that when I make my videos, you guys can see it's gonna look cuter. It's gonna look more organized. Cause I'm really, really big on being organized because like I like a clean environment. I like an organized space. So I'm trying to create that for myself and content and consistently keep it like that. Alright, y'all come on, let's look at my bathroom. This is my bathroom. Um it's super clean. I like don't have a very minimal stuff on here. This is for my guests. So when they come and you see Madeline. Here, she's videotaping, hold it down for your girl. And I have so many, so many drawers. Um, I just put like a bunch of hair products in a lot of them. All of my hair products, y'all, all hair products, all hair products. I am a hair product fiend and toothpaste. I mean, and toothbrushes. I'm a toothbrush fiend, y'all. Now, if you come, I have a shower. And I got the shower curtain from Target for like $6. I have all my towels. I got all the towels from Bed Bath & Beyond and Target. I try to color scheme a little bit. But it's not working out right now today, but I usually color scheme everything. So like I said, this is like very clean, very basic. Um, I'm going to put a painting here as well. I hate a lot of open space. I like when everything's covered and it looks all organized and come together. So I'm going to work on that, okay? So we're going to go check out my bedroom. Okay, guys, welcome to my bedroom. So this is my humble bed. Um, the comforter I did get from Macy's, so it was a little bit more pricier. Um, all the pillows came with it, and I did get like a little few shams, so I did buy that separately. This is from Target. I love sleeping with, I love, love, love blankets, so you know, I'm always gonna overbuy blankets. Now, this is a full size bed. Um, I thought my room was gonna be smaller, so instead of getting the queen, I got a full, but it fits me perfectly. Um, I sleep very well every, every night, so this works for me. So then I have a dresser. Now, this is my dresser from my um, home in Jersey. So instead of just going out and buy, I needed to use what I had because I feel like that makes more sense. And you know, I got my clock, I got like lotions and stuff that I use. Um, this is like a little mini jewelry box because the one I originally had I broke. And this is all like t-shirts in here and bodysuits um, and swimwear that I wear. And then back here is my nightstand. So on my nightstand, my phone's charged up. But um, I just have like my sketch stuff that I use. I have an emergency lamp that y'all all need to invest in because if the power goes out and you don't have a lamp or your phone dies you're going to be out of luck so it's really important to just grab one you can get it from the store for like ten dollars and then keep walking and this is um my clothes rack so i just put my outfits for the week on here it's like i'm gonna get a smaller one that doesn't stick out as much but i'm gonna use what i have for right now but um this is my outfit i'm actually gonna put on a little later today and i have outfits for like the week or like outfits that i'm trying to create i'll just hang up here just so i can see what it feels like and get the vibe so like this is like my mirror. I got this from Ikea too for $50. Now I did want a bigger one, but this actually just fits perfectly because I can, I've mounted it on my wall, y'all. And up here I have, this is like built-in shelving that came with my apartment. Now eventually I'm going to put these in storage containers so it can be look, looking a little bit more neater. 
but right now it works like one shove this is all of my sweatpants all of my like some well not all of my denim but a, a majority of my denim uh my workout clothes my aka clothes and sweat and sweat uh shirts that i wear in the winter times up there so and i have stuff still that i use so that if i have to get my sweatshirts from up there i can um and back here is my tv that's also mounted i'm obsessed with mounting everything um this is a samsung tv and I got it from Best Buy. I'm not sure how much it was. It was a gift from my parents because they love me. So this is like my makeup area. Um, this table I got from Amazon for $20. And this is the perfect size literally because it fits right here. And I brought this little makeup component from Marshalls for $7. Now that's not all my makeup. But it's like a good majority of makeup that I use. Um, every day so I just put the things that I need and I have like a bigger container that is actually low-key hidden so that when I need to take it out I can just go get it and mostly that's like left is like lipsticks and I have extra concealers and stuff like that and I did have this little vanity mirror um eventually I'm gonna put lights around it that I just ordered from Amazon too so like they're just bulbs that you can literally stick around it and I just brought them so I'm gonna put them up as well and I have like a magnified mirror and I have like a regular mirror I can use so when I sit down I can do my makeup and I really like this because it's like under fifty dollars. All this is under fifty dollars. I have my. I made my own little vanity for under fifty dollars. Now, if you keep walking over here, this is my shelves of just like miscellaneous stuff and bathroom stuff. So because there's no shelving in my bathroom, I had to like make do with what I had. So I have all of my towels, all of my bathroom stuff up here, and this is all hair stuff at the bottom, y'all. And I'm not even joking. Like there's so much hair stuff um, that I use, and I'm about to hang this up. It's a bulletin board so that when I Put all my plants and stuff. I can put my bullets and boards. That's why it's on the floor right now. But yeah, this is all my makeup stuff and shades and just miscellaneous stuff that so I can try to keep it contained as well. Y'all, I have a lot of stuff, so it was really hard to try to figure out how to get everything I have in small areas and make it look still nice and clean. So this is my little walk-in closet. As I told you guys, I'm super coordinated, so I have all this stuff is color coordinated. Um, in here and it makes it so easier for life for me to just have everything in one section and yes my shoes are by like flats and I try to color, color coordinate them a little bit too but flats then I have hills and open and toe uh, open and closed hills so like I try to be as coordinated as possible because it makes it like it just makes life so much easier and I got all these bins from Walmart and you can get them like 25 a pack for like Fifteen dollars, something like that. So it's like easy, cheap. You can buy. It. And they're also at IKEA for like a dollar each. So still easy. And then under here, I have more shoes, guys. Um, I'm a shoe fanatic. I cannot lie to you guys. And under here is my laundry basket. Uh, this is miscellaneous winter clothes, and I have my suitcase. So it's like you can have a lot of stuff like me and still be organized. So keep that in mind, guys, when you guys are looking at how to build your apartment, how to contain all your stuff. Storage bins is good. Shelving, all that stuff is really, really good stuff that I think that you should have in your apartment. And when you are getting an apartment, like, don't get your, don't have high expectations of I need to fulfill everything, fill every room in my apartment as soon as I move in. Because it's not realistic. And we're here to save money. We're on, we're balls on a budget, y'all. Like, we're here to save money. We're here to make sure that we can somehow figure a way to, over time, um, blah. We're here to figure over time, like, make our apartments homey. Don't expect to do it all in one day because, like, you don't want to spend all your money because you don't know what other bills is going to happen. You don't know what's going to, rainy days are going to come. And, y'all, I'm telling y'all, we're trying to save in 2019. We are not going to split in every dollar we have. So, over time, I mean, this is going to look neater. Like, in a year from now, this will look maybe a little different, a little bit more organized. But, like, I think I did pretty well, y'all. I think I did pretty well. So, this is my home apartment tour. I'm so glad that you guys came and watched. And, you know, it's in my little MTV cribs with me, okay? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff to my channel. Um, if you had, like, did an apartment tour or you have apartment tips for me, let me know. Drop it in the comments below so that I can, like, get some more tips. Because this is all still new to me, y'all. This is all still new to me, okay? Until next time, peace.